What's up, everybody? Our project Fract is designed to allow artists to create NFTs that react in real time to outside data from the real world, which will pull by Oracle. So now anything that can be verified by an existing Oracle can be integrated into a work of art. You could have a horizon that shows a sunset or sunrise as the time changes, or a landscape that reacts to the weather in the part of the world where the art depicts. For our example, we'll use a chain link Oracle to show a rocket on the launch pad at the current price and show that same rocket blasting off past the moon when the price doubles. One of the technologies that makes this possible is going to be IPFS. The way it's utilized here is the information that's going to be stored in the tokens. The content is going to be spread out in different locations, which makes it a lot better to acquire that information than by typical means. Now onto the demo itself. Stereo, go ahead and take it off, man. Welcome. Um, right here, we're in the IPFS media upload section where we stayed. And so we're going to upload a decentral image. First, we need a background and we're uploading it onto the IPFS decentral interplanetary file system. And here we can copy our IPFS URL, so to say, and just paste it in our layers form. We give the layer a name and paste the URL back in and now we can add the layer as you see it just immediately appears now we can um, sort of set the states of these layers we have several key states we have a start state that's the state we want to manipulate first we don't need an oracle for the background we simply keep it static we have an object down here that describes what the layers are holding, which image path it's holding, and it describes all the information, where things are positioned and placed. Now, we can even import a new layer. Yeah, and we want to make the moon move a little bit. We want to make it move from down here. That's the start position. And that's the top position for our link price. And we want to we want to we want it to be up here when it's 38. That's when we want the moon to be right and at this position. All right here. Exactly here. All right, so we're gonna save it. When link, when the link token hits thirty-eight dollars, that's where the moon is gonna be. Oh, we wanna take a bottom price. We're gonna hit the moon again. We're gonna take the link token again, and we're gonna set somewhat like. Oh, that's a bit too low. Twenty-nine dollars. See, now we have the bottom layer, now we have the top layer, and we could make many layers in between. Every time the price of S is, S is in between these two prices, it moves to a certain point somewhere in between in the animated layer. You can imagine how it works. And every time it's outside, it, it hit the limit and can't move anymore. You could do custom frames or you could do mid frames in between and let it fade out to keep it short. We're just gonna we're just gonna add another layer with our spaceship and make that move as well. Maybe on a different asset this time. And now when we switch between the states, you can see. And with that, we sincerely would like to thank you and I hope you have a nice day.